This, this is an ECU. This is the stock ECU out of the STI. And today we need to figure out what every single wire that goes into this thing does. This is going to be a very tedious task and it's not going to be fun, but it's going to make our lives a lot easier. So what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So a couple updates for you guys on the new car. I'm still waiting to hear back from a couple dealerships that I'm talking to about the car. I'm also waiting on the bank to clear funds from the prior car, so I can't really do anything to go get it quite yet. Uh, but I do wanna get some work done on the STI. So I need to figure out what every single wire that goes into the stock ECU does. Because anything that is CAN bus related, we need to keep in the car. Anything that's engine related can come out of the harness. I'm not gonna be like destroying or pulling apart the harness today because I'm gonna wait till we get the new ECU in. So today it's, a, it's gonna be a lot of taping and labeling everything. So this is the OEM document from Subaru that covers absolutely everything about the engine. Um, this is going to be our ECU pinout. So this is specifically for a 2017 STI. If you look at that pinout connector right there, it's the exact same as this harness here. So the way that this works is we have like bulkhead connectors. So like this is B134, B135, B136, B137. If we scroll down, it'll tell us what each pin does and what each connector it goes to. So it'll give us, so it'll tell us like crank position sensor, signal positive, negative, connector B137. So we know to go to like connector B137 and then we have terminal 17 and 25. So then we have to go back up there on that one and figure out which terminal, terminal is what to figure out what is what. So um, I'm really not looking forward to this, but we, we have to do this. The wiring is something that I'm not looking forward to doing in this car. Um, so, I mean, here we go go I guess trying to figure all that out so for the most part all of the wiring harness is already down here uh, I am gonna run through here unsheath most of them so that way I can gain access to what wire is what uh, once we have them unsheathed and we can actually start getting into them I'm gonna put a piece of tape around each one so that way I know what each one is once I'm done with all of this I'll make a master document for you guys also so if anyone else needs like ECU pinouts you can do it uh, but the way I'm gonna do it is like yellow wire red stripe like crank position sensor positive, you know, that like that. It'll be a lot easier to do it that way than to go through here and figure out what each like ECU connector pin does. And there's just wires absolutely everywhere. So uh, I'm gonna run through here, start unsheathing all of this. So that way we can start knocking this out. Cause this is, this is gonna be awful. This is gonna be absolutely awful. So I've been going at this for probably about an hour now and it's not as bad as you guys like might think it is. I, pr I promise if you guys can read a wiring diagram, it's extremely simple. Uh, my, I'm like freezing, my hands are cold cause it's like 30 degrees out today and I have the garage door open because I need the light to come in. Uh, so we're gonna take a quick break, run down to Subaru. Uh, all the parts came in for the oil pump to rebuild the oil pump except for like one part. It was just a mis like a mysterious part number that they just sent me. I'm shivering and the whole camera is shaking. Woo! It is cold, it is like freezing. So we're gonna we're gonna take a break, we're gonna swing down to Subaru. I do wanna walk you guys, like I wanna show you guys this because it, it looks incredibly intimidating to go through there and like start sorting out wiring harnesses, figuring out what everything does. Um, but it is crucial because some of the wires that I've already found, we do need to keep in the car for the swap. Uh, we can definitely tie them into the new ECU, the new wiring harness. Uh, but let me show you guys. So the way I have it set up is I took a screenshot of the actual like ECU pinout connector. And the way I have it labeled is on the actual connectors, and I'll show you guys this in the car, you have like B134, 35, 36, and 37. So I have that written on all of the connectors and I have the ECU in there with me so I can figure out the orientation. And then right under that, I have the pinout for everything. So as you guys can see here, sensor power supplies on connector B134, pin locations 22 and 21. Ignition control 1, 2, 3, 4, all B134 with all of their pinout locations. So it tells you everything that you need on there. So now in the car, I've been going through here, the light is like killing us right now, but on, on these, so like, as you can see on that connector, that's B136. So on all the connectors, I have it labeled of what connector it actually is, so I know which one I'm on. And then after that, you plug it into the ECU. You don't even have to plug it in, just set it into the ECU so you know what plug goes to what, and then you can figure out what the pinout location is on it. So it's not nearly as bad as it looks. Um, it's definitely a lot of wires and it definitely does look intimidating, but I'd say I'm probably like 20 to 20 
25% through the harness now. So we're starting to weed out like things that we don't need, things that we'll need later on, but like I'm freezing right now. So let's go steal Melanie's Impreza keys and swing down to Subaru because woo, I need to warm up for a minute. Let's go get the keys to the Impreza. Let's get out of here. Ugh, my hands are so cold, it's ridiculous. I'm taking the Impreza to go down to Subaru. I have a reminder set on my phone to grab key fob batteries. So I'll grab a key fob battery. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's go to Subaru. You know, in the meantime, while we wait to go get the new car, the Impreza is nice to drive around. It is a comfortable car. I will give it that. Look at that. Look at those new fog lights we threw in there. They're doing great. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. I need to pick up a new battery for this thing also. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is it dead dead? Yo, it is like stupid bright outside, it's ridiculous. So got the bulk majority of the parts, a lot of them are just like small parts in this box. Uh, it's mainly all stuff to rebuild the oil pump, new timing belt cover bolts, everything like that. I did get the last two timing covers for the EG33. Uh, timing covers are expensive, if you guys didn't know. I think a complete set of new timing covers for that motor was like $250, $300 from Subaru, but I'd rather have brand new OEM ones uh, that aren't cracked, they're not like destroyed, they're not super brittle. So, uh, the last two things, unfortunately, they didn't have everything. I'm still waiting on the oil relief plug for the oil pump and the relief valve spring for the oil pump. Uh, after I have those, then we're solid and uh, we can rebuild the oil pump and get that done, set aside, and ready for the EG33. Bam! That's done. Woo! Uh, I'm getting hungry though. I think I'm probably gonna snag like some Taco Bell or something. Swing back up to the house, then we'll keep going on this wiring to, uh, the goal for today is just to get all the wiring uh, labeled, knocked out, kind of done. So that way, we know what we can cut away. Like we know we don't need ignition, or we don't, we know we don't need uh, like, fuel injectors, that kind of stuff, but I still want to get them labeled right now so when we get the new ECU in, we can just chop, chop, chop all the old stuff out, get the new stuff wired in, be solid. So let's get some burritos and head back up to the house. All right, we're back in the garage. I'm refueled. I've eaten two burritos. Someone's doing burnouts. I've eaten two old burritos. Good to go. So let's continue knocking out some of this wiring stuff and uh, getting it done with because I want to get this whole harness sorted out. I want to get it knocked out, knocked out of the park. So let's go. So I've got a lot of this sorted out. Now, some of you guys might be asking like, why am I going through this entire mess of wires down here? And we're gonna be we're gonna be deleting a lot of these wires for like, first off, a lot of this is gonna be coming out of the car. But the main objective I'm trying to locate here are the wires and the harness that we need to keep for the CAN bus system, for like the speedometer, all the extra features, AC control, starter, all of that kind of stuff. I have found some of it so far and it's labeled in some of these harnesses so far for the most part. So far it seems like B134 is mainly for like engine control stuff. This is like injectors. This is gonna be like your coil packs, that kind of stuff. B135, is this 135? That's 137, where's 135? B135 seems to be more along the lines of like car stuff, like the actual car stuff, like uh, AC control, AC switches were on B135, B136 and B137 are a little bit of both also. So we're gonna be cutting off all the white connectors when it comes down to it. And we're just gonna be reusing the wires uh, off of that harness for our new ECU. So that way we can retain all of the OEM features that we want to have in the car still. Everything else will be deleted. All of that wiring will be sorted out, cut out and removed from the car, which means I'm probably gonna have to remove all, like the dash bar and everything else in here, the steering column, all of that stuff to be able to pull out all of the extra wiring that we don't need but this thing is a huge lifesaver you guys like if you are trying to do an engine swap or you're trying to like do something similar to what i'm doing you're gonna have to take the time to sort through this harness and see what you want to keep what you want to get rid of and what what all has to stay so i'm probably about 70 percent through the harness i think i have like two pages left to go through on this diagram so i'm gonna keep i'm just gonna knock this out 
finish sorting it and we're gonna get all these labeled uh, probably in the next episode or the one following it. We'll probably start removing a lot of these wires that we don't need anymore, uh, like injectors, ignition control, throttle position, all of that stuff, just because our new ECU is going to have all of that. So we can cross reference over from these over to the Haltech document that uh, what they support on that ECU. And then we can kind of commingle in between there to get things worked out. So uh, I guess I'll get back to labeling because this is just a blast. Yo, I am freezing. It is so cold out here, but we're done. We have gone through every single wire. Every single wire has been gone through. We know what every single one does. I already started cutting some of them. Uh, actually, I've only cut the TGV ones because I know those aren't gonna be needed. Uh, there's a couple others that I know can be cut. Actually, a lot of them can be cut, but I know what every single one of those wires does now that goes to the ECU. I know where they go. I know where they plug into. And uh, at some point, I'm going to make a color combination chart, like red wire, black stripe, blue wire, red stripe, thick blue wire, little white stripe, something like that, uh, that does what each one does, just so I have reassurance. And I'll share that information with you guys if you guys want that. Also, uh, just let me down below and I can definitely make that and share that with you guys. But let me show you guys what we got. So first of all, if you're gonna do something like this, Seriously, have the field service manual up. It will help you greatly. Because like I said, if we scroll all the way back up here to the very, there's like eight pages of these that I went through. It was nuts. It was, okay, keep scrolling right here. All right, so if you go to it, it's like section five in here. Uh, like I said, I'll link this down below. It's like page 592, I believe. You go down, like I said, it gives you connectors B134, B135, B136, B137. Write that on your connectors. Match what connectors, so that way you can quickly just look at the connector and see what you're going to. And then right under that, it'll say connector number B137, terminal number, 17 so then you go to b137 you find terminal 17 on that one can i zoom in anymore i can barely zoom in Boop. And then you go to terminal 17 and then terminal 17 on b137 is the crankshaft position sensor positive signal and then you're going to go through every single wire and i mean there are pages pages of this i think there is literally like eight or nine pages but it's done we have it complete look at that Look at that, I know what all those wires do. Woo! So I cut like, I don't know, probably six of them back there. Like I said, those are all TGV delete stuff. Uh, all of these in the next video, we're gonna go through and we're gonna like trim this harness. We're gonna completely pull the harness from the car, remove all the wires that we know we're not gonna be needing anymore. Uh, so this dash bar is probably gonna have to come out to be able to pull the harness out from behind the dash bar. Uh, and we're gonna strip it all out. Everything that we don't need is coming out, but I'm really glad because we found the CAN bus communication, high, low. We found the immobilizer. We found like cruise control, all of that stuff that we want to keep with the EG33 when it swapped in the car. We found all the wires. So that way we can link it all up to the new ECU when we get the hall tech in. And I'm not even going to just like start wiring anything, like actually, actually wiring anything until we get the, like the motor in the car. So that way I know like somewhat of a path of where I need to route everything. But this is huge because this tells me what we can and cannot keep from the ECU connections. Uh, the SRS module still has to come out. I haven't even touched that yet. So that's going to be coming out. Pro I'll probably just knock that on the next video, just time lapse through it. But, but like I said, I'm glad that it's done and it's something that absolutely needed to be done. Knowing what wires go where and what we're keeping, what we can get rid of is going to make everything so much easier when we get the ECU in. So that way we can quickly start splicing into things, making our own harness work with this harness as much as possible. Because like I said, I do want to retain as many of the OEM features. Like I found like the speedometer class, cluster, immobilizer, push to start, everything that we need to keep for the car to make it run like OEM, we know what wires they are at this point. So it's, it's gonna make life so much easier. So uh, like I said, I'll drop below the FSM for this 2017 uh, STI and WRX for this wiring diagram. If this is something that you guys want, I'll link it down below. Uh, but with that, that's all I got for you guys on this one. This was a huge thing that we needed to get done. This literally took me all day to go through and figure out uh, all these terminal connectors, wiring and seeing like where everything went. So if you like the video, you know what to do. Go ahead, hit that like button and turn it blue. Like the Subaru, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up one of these corners. No idea which one I'll put it in quite yet, and keep an eye out in the next couple of days, because we're picking up the new car soon. I just got off the phone with the dealership. We're probably picking it up Friday or Saturday, so ooh! I'm so excited. But with that, though, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies.